This is a 6,000 square foot building that we put up in two and a half weeks. If you're gonna do that stick framing, it'd probably take you six months to get to this stage. I'm Tommy Hotaling. I'm the job captain for the Heron job site in Walpole, New Hampshire. I've been working with Bensonwood for over seven years. Everybody in the shop gets a turn to go out in the field. Everybody essentially puts their hands on most panels. The benefit of shop fabrication as opposed to on site is you're working in a controlled environment. In a factory, you kind of take out all of the guesswork and any like discrepancies are kind of ironed out. So it's gonna be a more precise and accurate product. And the more accurate it is, the longer it's gonna stand, the longer it's gonna live. In the shop, everything, everything is glued. Everything is taped. Then everything on site gets wrapped in a gasket, put gasket down on the floors, gasket up the sides of the walls, across the top plate of the wall. So you have just one continuous layer of gasket around the whole perimeter of each panel and the whole building. It's taped from the interior and taped from the exterior. It's for air sealing purposes. So yeah, they're more efficient. They end up being a really clean environment to live in because of how airtight they are. Scheduling is one of the most important things that we do. The way I start is first get familiar with the model, see what panels are in what bundle and where they correlate to being able to raise it efficiently. And then I'll just kind of start writing out my sequence of how I'm going to physically raise the building. And while I'm doing that, kind of group the different bundles of material that need to be on site so you'll figure out size of trucks, timing, and try and make it efficient enough so you're not getting too many deliveries is tricky. Like it's basically Tetris with hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> so the main priority is protecting the investment. You need to know how the panels are actually put together and how to keep them weather tight, how to keep them airtight. So somebody from Bensonwood always goes out on the job. Somebody who's been involved in our shop, one of our guys. Everything happens so fast on site. We came for one day, laid out the foundation, laid out the walkout walls, put up the corables that hold the floor system, got information, to bring back to the shop for the walls to actually be built, you know, off of the concrete, how long they needed to be, how tall they really needed to be to actually match up with what's here. Then we came back, set the walkout walls themselves, the timber frame, set the floors, buttoned everything up, had to kind of leave for, I don't know, two days so that they could backfill around the foundation clean up the site a little bit, and then started bringing more material in, got all the first floor walls up on the first day. After it's unloaded, rip the plastic off of it, hook it up to the crane. You're gonna get that down onto the deck to your snap line. Probably use a German claw to kind of crank it over so that it's actually tight. Hit it with the laser or level, make sure that the corners are both in both directions that it's plumb. Start sending a couple of panel screws down, disconnect the crane, keep moving on. Started the exterior deck and the screen porch the second day. And then got the main timber frame up. Put up a couple of gables. The ridge, that was all the third day. Then the next day we went for the great room roof. Get a little bit of different rigging. We use a chain fall, which helps you just drop the panel to the correct pitch. And that helps the gasket not get folded over as it touches down, as opposed to being flat and then kind of come in. 
We start from the middle and work out as opposed to working from one side and growing and then being long off of the end. You have a chance to catch and make sure everything's good. There's a little bit of a gap in between the framing of the panels for the insulation that we have in the outside eye joists. And that allows you to just trim enough so you can squeeze the panel even tighter and get some of that extra in case you end up being big. We did interior walls and ceilings on one day. Next day we put up the garage. weeks. That's it. That's actually pretty fast. <laughs>